Welcome to Mark Reed 757 Weight Loss Journey, week number two. <sighs> Way to leave you guys hanging, huh? Yeah, all 23 of you that watched the last one. Like I said before, I'm not really wanting to do these weight loss videos, but I, I want to be able to hold myself accountable. So I realize, you know, hey, look, uh, yeah, I really want to watch somebody talk about losing weight. And they're not even close to the objective. <laughs> Alright. I've lost a good amount of weight before. I'll have to try it again. Uh, one of my inspirations recently is my 600 pound life. And the one guy, um, I can't remember his name, is David. He, he was one of the guys that was like 600 pounds. And he dropped all the weight. But then he didn't like the way he looked after he dropped the weight. And he went all the way back up well now he's on the journey to lose it again anyway that that's not what happened to me I I did not mind the way I looked while I was losing the weight I honestly I I just kept thinking I kept having the attitude I can get it done later I can get it later I'll do it later I can do it tomorrow you know let me have just one last meal oh, that's all right you, you know you already messed up you know all them other days why don't you just have one more meal and I kept doing that and kept doing that and kept doing that since last March not 2020 March I'm talking about 2019 March I've been doing that last meal basic well mainly 2019 April because March I was kind of on track and then April I kind of lost it and kept thinking I'll get it I'll get it well it's <laughs> you know I didn't get it <laughs> I guess I wasn't ready after all you know I really wasn't ready just this last time and that was just a little bit about a month ago and I felt like I was ready but I just didn't follow through in fact I started that day you know supposedly so I went a little bit differently uh, for this time around I never had a breaking point at that point I just didn't have a breaking point and kept thinking I can do this I can do this and just kept saying well it's nobody forcing you to do it so you can still do this tomorrow and you know what they say why put off till tomorrow what you can do accomplish today so I'm going back to that philosophy uh, kids were helping me with everything you know I'm, I was trying to get a I found my breaking point. Kids were helping me with everything. You know, I, I love my kids, but that's not necessary for them to do. I sh they should not have to do simple little things that I need to be able to handle myself. Yes, I gained a significant amount of weight, and I'll get to that a little bit later in the video. And it was very difficult for me to perform the simplest of tasks. Uh, I started cutting back on what I was eating. That helped me out a lot because it was hard for me to even get out of the bed. I had to really, really try to get up and get out of the bed. And simply by just cutting back. Because I wasn't always eating bad food. I would even eat good food, but I just ate such a massive amount multiple times a day. I'm talking, I'd have a massive amount early. Three to five hours later, have another massive amount. And another massive, I, I'm, if I had to guess, I was probably eating close, over 10,000 calories a day. I don't know for sure. I didn't count them. But I almost guarantee it was over 10,000 calories a day. That's definitely not sustainable. Um... I was feeling better after I cut back on just cutting back on eating I was actually able to get up and I could get up out of bed without very much effort and that's what I'm working on now uh, I found a park that was nearby and before when I've lost weight and I've gotten at least this big or close to this big I was able to find somewhere where I could walk every day and there had to be like a bench that I could go to so I'd walk so much sit down take a little break 
walk some more, sit down, take a little break, walk some more. Well, I found a park that's nearby now, and it's perfect. It's not really far. I don't know the exact amount. I don't want to know the exact amount. I just know it's far enough where I can walk it one whole time around without having to sit down. And I couldn't have done that a month ago. I literally was, my back would hurt so bad to the point where I was like almost in tears. Well, now I can at least walk all the way around and there's f about four or five benches throughout this little track and they're not real far apart. So if I do need to sit down at different increments, I'm able to. So I, I've been using that the last couple days. Um, the first day, I think I went around there seven times. Uh, the second day, I went around 16 times. No, 15 times. I went around 15 times. And I felt like it was hurting my knees a bit. So maybe 15 was going a little bit above and beyond. So today, I cut back. I still walked. But I did my normal walking. I didn't do no, you know, the laps or anything. I will attempt to go disc golfing with my kids because I really love disc golfing. And I want to see how I do with that. Might not walk the whole course, but I'll do what I can. So that's helping me out a big time. But anyway, I still had the issue of my scale only goes up to 420 pounds. I had somebody that was going to let me go to the doctor's office and weigh, but I didn't want to wait. <laughs> I wanted to get it done now, so I went to the scrapyard to weigh myself. And the scrapyard guys were, you know, welcoming. They, in fact, they said, come back and weigh anytime I want. Well, I got on there, and sure enough, I'm over 420. Uh, I was 434. However, I know with my changes in the last month or so, I was probably over 450, which is ridiculous. It's, I can't believe I let myself get back up here. So 434. I'm at 434. That's, wow. And I thought 420 was my highest. Now, granted, I feel like I was higher than 434 at one point, but I don't have it. I didn't actually see it. So I see 434, so that's my highest point to date. And I did take some pictures of me without my shirt on. I'm not going to put it in this video. I'm going to wait until I have some results, and then I'll put side by side so you can see. And let's see here. My goal, I don't, I'm not going to normally put a weight loss goal, like I'm not going to put a weight number, but for next week, and I know this is obtainable because I've done it numerous times just by watching what I eat and exercising. And because of the weight that I'm at, it's a lot easier for heavier people to lose the weight once they're doing what they're supposed to do. So, as long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, I plan on losing 15 pounds so I can start weighing myself again at my place. However, I will continue to weigh myself at the scrapyard for a little while because with bathroom scales, they tend to fluctuate. In other words, I might actually be 415, but it's going to say 420. And then I get off the scale and I get back on it. It's going to say 412. So it'll say different numbers. Even though I didn't gain or lose any weight within one second. It'll still say that I am a different weight. So I feel like the scale at the scrapyard is going to be a lot more accurate. I think the scale at the scrapyard will even be more accurate than the doctor's office. Because at the scrapyard, they have to calibrate that thing all the time. Because they don't want to rip themselves off. You know, could you imagine, you know, that a scrapper comes in there and puts some weight on and they got to way overpay the dude and then they go to 
turn in the scrap themselves and they don't make it yeah they're not doing that so they have to have it calibrated correctly and that's where I'm gonna go for a little while probably until I'm under 400 or something but anyway don't forget to subscribe turn that thumbs up blue and smash that notification button uh, the question for the week what is your go-to meal uh, I had sushi today I mean I, mean, I, I enjoyed it so <laughs> anyway that's not my go-to I, I just kind of get something in my head and then I eat it if I want chicken I eat chicken if I want steak I eat steak anyway talk to you next week